It's over here with Edgar Berlanga. Welcome to New York. I mean, this is your home, hey. Yes, sir. But I know you were in Florida. How was the training camp over there? What can you um, describe of that? It's beautiful, man. Uh, I like to get away, you know, from my, from my city, from the people, you know. Not that I don't like my people, but I love my people. But it's good to get away and, and stay focused. And, you know, I'm in the suburbs, man. I'm where there's a whole bunch of cows, horses, and chickens running around and stuff. So that's the type of environment I need to be in to prepare for a fight. Is it uh, is it almost kind of similar like Puerto Rico? Because I know you've been in Puerto Rico before. Right. So is this type of environment helping you in order to get you you know something strength and conditioning in order that? Oh, of course, the weather's we could, beautiful. We could see it. You guys yeah. see it, Edgar Berlang, and now he sure. changed. I'm sorry to cut sure. you up a look. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, you know, uh, Florida man, the weather's all uh, is good all year round, man. You know, so that's the that's the beauty of it. You know. As far as being over there and training over there, you know, you're more focused and everything, you know, as far as training and, you know, staying away from the girls, you know, and, um, you know, just focus, man. That's about it. Just focus. Um, you know, I remember when I used to, you know, watch your, you know, your first fights and, and you basically performing over here in New York. Now you're moving, you know, in the different places. How you feel now that you know in every place that you you know step into the ring, people comes and support you. Oh man, it's a blessing, you know. And, and the more the more wins I get, the more knockouts I get, the more fans and the more people I bring in and fill up them seats, you know. Hopefully one day I could be able to fill out the Madison Square Garden, the, the, the big house, you know, in my hometown in, in New York. It's a blessing. That will be a, a big achievement in your career. Yes, Eventually, you know. You always bring a good action, but for some reason, you know, I don't know if it's the opponent or is that because you are too good yeah. in order that the fight sometimes end early. Yes, you know, how do you feel that, you know, always perform in that type, in a particular, you know, show that every time that we see you, a night is always, you know, a short night. I know, man. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really focus on that, man, uh, as far as, you know, like I said, getting the first round knockout. I let it come, you know, if I got to go into the second, third round, I'm ready for it, you know, but it's just so happening that every time I step in, every time somebody I, get, I touch somebody, they're going, you know, but, uh, I mean, it's cool, man. It's, it's... You don't get paid overtime, you know? So. Yeah, and now you're saying paying overtime and everything, I know, I'm talking, of, I'm going to talk about this, that just recently popped up, you know, news, you know, Miller... They found him, you know, with certain things like, I would say, asteroids. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as an athlete that you are, how important in your career is not to step in those, you know, kind of, you know, like a spot that probably, you know, they would point in you and they say, oh, you're, you're a cheater. I'm not trying to say that Big Baby yeah, Miller yeah. is a cheater. Yeah. Maybe for some medication that he took, you know, yeah. probably something happened. We don't know yet. Eventually sure. something is going to come out, you know, more news later. But how important for you is always to keep yourself, you know, clean and, and fight the way that I you mean, do? It's, it's very important, man. It's, it's the most important thing, you know, especially in the sport of boxing. When you fight at that level, when you're at that, at that stage, you know, at fighting for millions of dollars, you know, and the anticipation for that fight was, was, was big, you know. Um, I'm a real good, uh, good friend with, uh, with, with Jarrell, you know, and I wish him all my luck, man, and I hope everything, you know, goes well for him, man, and the fight continues and he can still make his money. Yeah, you know, uh, he's the people champs over here from New York. I heard that news, you know, yesterday and I was like, wow, I'll be like, uh, hopefully, you know, it's something because, you know, eventually sometimes, sometimes, you know, you get sick, right? Yes, people, sometimes people know. That's why I'm, try I'm trying to explain people. Sometimes people don't know when you are sick and probably you're not supposed to take, you know, any medication and then boom, you know, something comes out, you know, in, yes, in your blood. So, and for people that probably, you know, sometimes criticize, you know, yeah. quickly, mm -hmm. they don't know, you know, what, what it is, what's the problem. What's exactly. the problem. Uh, so we just hope that, you know, eventually something comes clearing, you know, in his career and let's get, you I know, this fight. I wish my man all the, all the best, man. I hope that he gets that fight. He's from Brooklyn, New York. He's from my, my own town, man. You know, and it's only right, man. I don't hate on nobody. You know, that's my brother, man. And that's someone I look up to, and I hopefully one day can get to that stage and reach that the levels, you know, that he's on now. So. Hey, it is. How do you see it now, the car that you are, you know, with Amir Khan, Crawford? You think the Amir Khan, you know, now is a different one that we, you know, pictured in the past? 
in order that he says he says recently he says I'm bringing you know the best of me now. So what do you think of you know I mean, Amir Khan now in Crawford? Every fighter could say something. You know, is at the end of the day when you step in that ring, it shows. You know, you could talk all the talk you want, man. But at the end of the day, when you step in that ring, everything shows. You know, and at the end of the day, you know he's older. You know, he's been through wars with with, with the greats. You know, and I, I feel like it's it's taking a toll on his body. You know, and you got a guy like Terence Crawford coming up. You know, an undisputed world champ, whatever, and you know. One of, one of the best pound for pound fighters out there, you know, so it's only right that Terence Crawford goes out there and takes the win, you know. Because to me, Americana is on his way out. Terence Crawford is, is, is heating up more and more every year. And eventually, it, I was I talked with Bob Aaron, I, I spoke with him, and I said, listen, you know, I'm not trying to say that Americana is going to lose, but if he happens or if it's something, you know, like let's say by decision or I don't know what is going to happen on that night. I, I asked Bob Aaron, are you willing to make Errol Spence Amir, I mean, against Crawford? He said that in his hands, he will do, you know, anything possible in order to make that fight. Yeah. So, do you, you think that this is the mega fight that people are respecting, you know, for these two Walter Wade I mean, champions? Yeah, man, uh, Crawford has, uh, no, uh, Khan has the accolades, you know what I mean? He has the back, the huge background. He's fighting, the, he fought the best, he fought the greats. Um, so it's a big fight, man. You know, it's a Madison Square Garden. You got the UK, you got a guy from the US that's a superstar in the UK, and you got a guy that's a superstar in the US. So them two coming together, man, in, in, the, in the Mecca boxing in New York and Madison Square Garden is nothing but positive things, and uh, this is a big fight for them, man. Hey, it is. I would say this, April 20, we're going to see yourself yes, in the ring. We're going to see, you know, Christopher Pitufo Diaz, Felix Verdejo, and I could go with the list, you know, more and more, but I want yourself to invite people. And also, if you have, you know, tickets, yes, remind them where they can get them. Yes, sir. Um, right now, tickets are sold out. We're not selling no more tickets. Uh, well, you can either get tickets at the box office or you can get it on Ticketmaster.com. That's about it, man. I'm ready 100%, man. Edgar Berlanga, the chosen one. Let's just stay tuned on more, you know, details that he probably is going to post it, you know, soon and everything that he will do in order to bring the best fights that he always performed. Edgar Berlanga, thank you for everything. Wishing you nothing but the best. Be safe. Okay.